Thank you. Um, thank you, Vice Chair Vargas. You know, I want to take a minute and just say how fortunate the people of San Diego County are to have Nora Vargas on the Board of Supervisors, uh, serving as Vice Chair, someone who brings such tremendous experience, such great leadership, uh, particularly on a variety of issues, but in particular uh, on issues of women's reproductive health. Um, and came in early and our county took a early action uh, to declare ourselves a champion of women's reproductive health, freedom and choice. Uh, and then in the wake of what we are seeing the Supreme Court do, uh, Vice Chair Vargas has been a, a, a national leader, not just in San Diego and in California, but nationally to speak out on these issues. Uh, and so we are grateful, uh, Nora, for, for, for your, your experience, your leadership and everything that you've done. The reality is San Diego County is the public health agency in our region. Um, and soon we may not be able to rely on federal laws. We may not be able to re rely on a right that has been enshrined in our constitutional law for the entirety of my life. That right may not be there at the federal level uh, to make sure we protect a woman's basic access, uh, her basic reproductive health. And so as a county, we cannot wait for the rights to be taken away. We need to take action locally. Uh, it is our obligation to make sure we are doing everything we possibly can to fight. And even though the change may not change law in California today, today, we know that these threats and rights are under a sustained attack across our country. And it is very important that as a county, we step forward and we take action. And so what we're proposing is we assess and fully understand the breadth and depth of, of reproductive health care services uh, and our county and our contractors make available and make sure that we can identify any barriers to access them and remove them. We also want to direct our county staff, our state and federal legislative staff to make sure they are pursuing every legislative effort to both support a woman's right to access and to lean into the national debate and the federal debate uh, to make sure that we are doing everything we can as a body uh, to fight to make sure that a woman's right to choose remains essential and remains a part of our life. Uh, I know issues of bodily autonomy are deeply personal and it is entirely inappropriate uh, for the United States Supreme Court to take away and remove this right that has been enshrined for so long and our county will fight back. I also know and recognize that this issue does not impact me personally and as the Vice Chair said, I stand here as an ally. I stand here as an elected leader, as a husband, as a son, uh, as a father, as someone to say that this does impact us all because this is fundamental to what we need to have in our society and that basic right, that basic inherent uh, right to reproductive health, to healthcare choices uh, is, is fundamental. And I call on every other ally out there to make sure that you are being vocal and make sure you are speaking up to stand in solidarity, to stand up, not just today, but tomorrow and into the future, uh, to make sure that we do everything we possibly can uh, to continue to be on the right side of this issue, to continue to defend a woman's right to choose and continue to make sure that it's not just our words saying what is happening is wrong and why it needs to change, but our actions to do everything we can to ensure that fundamental right to everyone. And so again, thank you tremendously to everyone who's here with us. Uh, and again, to Vice Chair Vargas for all of, uh, of your incredible leadership and action on this item. Uh, we're very fortunate and grateful to have you on the Board of Supervisors in San Diego. Thank you, Vice Chair.